Hi everyone, Nick from Clean PC, and today we're going to be doing a Linux distribution review for Lubuntu 20.04. So Lubuntu is based on Debian and Ubuntu Linux. Uh, the current desktop is LXQT. Uh, on DistroWatch, it ranks 27th, and they categorize it as a use for live medium, live CD, or netbooks. So as we look at the default background, um, aesthetically I think they've done a really nice job with the distribution, the look and feel, the icons, um, you know, definitely uh, looks, looks comfortable. And I'm going to just go here to System Tools and open up HTOP. And with this we can just kind of take a look at uh, the setup. We are running this virtualized, um, 4 CPUs and 6 gigs of RAM. And you can see we're just using under 400 megs of memory. Um, basically after boot with nothing really open. So uh, not RAM intensive at all. Um, again, that's kind of why it's, I think it's categorized for netbooks because um, it's not using a ton of resources. So uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and just click on the menu here and go through some of the stuff we can see. So in accessories, uh, we've got a, a few things. So Featherpad is the default um, text file opener. Uh, you got your calculator program. You got PC Man FM uh, dash QT file manager. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And nothing really in my home directory. So we'll go into Etsy. And let's see here. Go into op. Oh, I don't have anything in there because not much is installed. So just go ahead and open this text file. And you can see, again, it opens with Featherpad, nice and quick. So they've done a nice job. So also on the menu, interesting, they uh, included Vim, kind of an eclectic set of applications they've chose to, uh, to include with Lubuntu. Um, definitely different, not really mainstream stuff that you might be used to seeing. Um, take a screenshot. Do you have Firefox for your internet browser? So we'll go ahead and open that up. And we'll go ahead and we'll give Distro Watch a click because it's a great site. And on Distro Watch, like I said, uh, Ubuntu is ranked 27th. And there it is. So you can kind of see some info on it. So you can see the home page, so we'll go ahead, we'll give them a click. If you haven't visited, check out their site. Pretty cool, nicely done. Kind of see their information and how they displayed it about their distribution. And also from here, got the link to their documentation. And again, it's a branch off of Ubuntu, so you can see that they're using their Ubuntu documentation to kind of supplement their distribution. So well put together, um, a lot of good documentation on the operating system, really nicely done. So I'd like to give uh, the team a, a couple of good plugs because they've done a nice job with the organization, uh, the documentation, and overall look and feel of their website as well. So again, internet, you got a couple more things in there for uh, mail and IRC. In Office, it does come with LibreOffice, so if we go ahead and open Writer, you can see that it opens uh, rather snappy, so quick, not slow by any means. As we do this, you can see we're increasing the RAM some, but really not taxing it a whole lot. So we go back, and if we open uh, Calc, it should also open relatively quick as it does there. And you can see as we're doing this, we are taxing the processors just a little bit, as you may or may not expect. Uh, I did go ahead and install Genie, uh, just because as I try stuff out sometimes, I like some programs I'm familiar with. This is a great editor. Um, so if you're uh, new to Linux um, and you never heard of Genie and you work with text files or HTML files or really any scripting files, Genie is a great lightweight tool. Um, give those guys a plug as well because uh, they do a really nice job with this program, but uh, really easy to install it on here. Just sudo apt-get install genie, uh, and it was installed. I think it's like under 12 megs, so not very big. 
Um, it does come with VLC media player. So um, again, if you've never heard of VLC, it's like a Swiss Army knife for media files. Basically, any audio or video file uh, you can throw at it, it's probably going to play it without any issue. So. And then in system tools, we got a couple of different things we can drop into the shell. Let's grab this over here. Just do an LS. Look at our resources with free. Tons of RAM available. Exit out of there. And again, we showed you HTOP as well. It's an interesting one. This is their process manager. So a little bit different um, look and feel, but certainly does the job. I do like that in here you can look at it linear, look at it in a tree. Kind of nice up there. It gives you the readout for your CPU and RAM usage. No swap usage. Your uptime. So like I said, not tools that uh, are in a lot of the mainstream distributions, but kind of an eclectic collection, but uh, certainly does the job. Exit out of there. And then in preferences... So under settings, I will say it was really nice, uh, again, running this virtualized, so was able to change the resolution to 1920 by 1080, which is really cool. Um, some distributions, again, depending on the support, you're stuck with a, a smaller display, sometimes 800 by 600, 1024 by 768. Um, so it was really nice that out of the box, I could just change that display, didn't give me any problems. Um, kind of cool, again, you can uh, apply a full upgrade if the next revision is out uh, and you want to upgrade. You can add additional drivers and a whole bunch of other options. Screensaver, look at your software repos, um, your printers. So, again, if you want to know a little bit more about LXQT, click on that. Give you all sorts of great information about it. And then if we want to leave, we've got all of our choices right here. Or we could simply lock the screen. Or if we wanted to, we could start typing down here and search and open a pro program based on that. So... Overall, um, really nice distribution, uh, snappy, uh, not very resource intensive. So if you've got an older machine, maybe a, a Core 2 Duo or something, you know, that may be 8 or 10 years old with 4 gigs of RAM, um, it's going to be plenty of resources uh, for Lubuntu. So you can install it. Um, again, I think aesthetically they did a nice job. Uh, very clean looking distribution. Uh, icons are nicely done too. So um, definitely give it a thumbs up and uh, hope you enjoyed the review.